tonight, God, we're here to worship you. It's all about you. We acknowledge your presence. We're in awe of your mercy and grace. Come on, elevate it all together. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. But when the darkness falls, it won't breathe. Here's why. Cause the God I serve knows only how to triumph. Woo! My God will never fail. Say, oh my God will never fail. All together, I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the Good morning, House of Hope Making. We are so elated that we are here on this first Sunday in May. We've made it into five months so far. And last Sunday, we had a glorious time celebrating our pastor, second pastor anniversary. And we're excited today that God has made a way out of no way. And we, this morning, we decree and declare and we send the devil back from the abyss of hell from which he came. And God, we give you glory and we give you praise because you are worthy of the praise. Amen. Our scripture this morning is coming from Psalm 100. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Enter, I'll say it again, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. I'll say it again. For the Lord is good. I'll say it one more time. For the Lord is good. And his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. Let us go to the throne of grace. Lord, we thank you. We exalt and magnify your name because you are great. In this place, oh God, today we ask now that you take control you're already here god but we asking now that the manifestation of your glory saturate this place oh god like never before and god we come standing now in the midst of your people oh god those that are online oh god we ask now that you give them a blessing and god we ask now that you bless our pastor if he brings forth the word oh god that someone may come down the aisle or put in the screen that they want to be a part of this village god we thank you we give you glory and we give you praise in the name of jesus i pray amen amen come on can we give god some praise i said can we give god a real praise somebody something for real come on somebody wherever you are just lift up your voice lift up your hearts and give god something good something from the inside lord we celebrate you lord we lift you up lord we magnify you for your great and greatly to be praised that's nobody like you prince of peace everlasting god we love you and we celebrate you god oh god yeah 
Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Lord. We love to call your name. It's something we cannot explain. That happens when we proclaim your great name. Your great name, you say. We love to, love to call your name. Call your name. And it's something it's that something we cannot explain. We cannot explain. That happens, God. That happens. When we, when we proclaim your great name, God, your great name, God, we love to call, we love, love to call your name, God, your name. and there's something that it's something we cannot explain, Lord, cannot explain. that happens, God, happens. when we proclaim your great name, Lord, your great name, your great name. Your great name. Jesus, Jesus, no other name, not stronger, Lord. We can call on you, and things they change when we call. One more time, said King Jesus. No other name, said King Jesus. Not stronger, Lord. We can call on you, God. And guess what? Things change when we call on your name. There's power, there's power. Yes, Lord. There is power in the name of Jesus. Power in your name. Thank you, Lord. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power in your name from the top. Here we go. Should we love to call? We love to love to call your name. Call your name. And there's something that there something we cannot explain, God. Cannot explain. That happens, God. But we get on one accord together. Your great name, God. Your great name. Your great name. Your great Said King Jesus. Jesus. No other name. No Said King other Jesus. 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 No one else is stronger. Not we stronger. can call on your God. The things they change, we God. Change when we call on your name, call God. One more time. Here we go. Yes, Lord. King Jesus. King Jesus. No other name. No King Jesus. Jesus. No one else is stronger than you. Not we can call on your God. And the things they change. change. When we call. We call on yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord, there is power in the name of Jesus. Power in your name. Everybody say, said there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power, God. Power in the name. Come on, just give me your spirit. Said there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There's power in your name, Jesus. Power in your name. Oh, can we sing it together? There's power. There's power in the name of Jesus. So much power in your name, God. Power Come on, let's just all sing together. There's power. Said there is power. There is power in oh, the name of God. Said so much power. power Come on, can we sing it together? Said there is, there is power. There is power. Oh, oh, oh God. Said so much power. Power in the name. Here we go. Things change when we call you Jesus. Things they change. Things change when we call your name. So things they change, God. Things change when we call you Oh, Jesus. things they change. Things change when hey. we call your name. Say, I'm free, God. I'm free when I call you I'm Jesus. free to lift up my hands, God. I'm free yeah, 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 yeah. when I call your name. Say, I am free, God. I'm free when I call you Yes, I'm free. I'm free. One more time. I'm free. Say, I'm real free, God. I'm free when I call you. I can lift up my hands and worship you, God. Oh, yes, God. Said, I'm free, God. I'm free when I call you. Doesn't matter what it looks or what it feels like, God. I'm free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, when I call your name. When I call your name. Said, when I call your name. Something happens when we call you. When I call your name. Said something 
shifts when we call you Jesus. When I call your name. Say when I call your name, God. When I call your name. I feel much better when I call on the name of Jesus. When I call your name. Say when I call your name. About the name Jesus. Woo. There's something about the name Jesus. Yes, Lord. It is the sweetest name. I know. Said, Oh, how I love the name Jesus. 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 It is the sweetest name. Oh, 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 my God. I said, now Jesus went to, to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. That's love. That's love. Said Jesus went to Calvary. Yes, he did. Just to save you and me. Yes, Lord, thank you, God. That's love. Yeah, that's love. That's love, that's love. Oh, but that's not how the story ends. The story ended. Because three days later, he rose with power. That's love. Anybody know that's love? That's love, that's love. Oh God, said when I call your, said when I call your name. When I call your name. Said when I call your name. When I call your name. Said when I call your name. When I call your name. Said when we call your name, God. When I call your name. Said when I declare the name of Jesus, they say. Oh God, no matter what it looks like, what it feels like, God. Said when we call your great name, God. When we call your name. When I call your name. Now somebody give up glory. Somebody give up glory. Somebody open up your mouth and magnify the great I am. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what the enemy said. I won't stop praising you. I won't stop giving you glory. I won't stop shouting. Because there's power. There's healing power in the name of Jesus. I don't care what the doctor said. There's healing power in the name of Jesus. He's able to do it. He's able to fix it. Somebody shout. Give them glory. Somebody give them glory. Somebody give them glory. Somebody give them glory. When I call your name. When I call your name. Something happens when we call you. When I call your name. Said when we call the name of Jesus. When I call your name. Situation change when we call them. When I call your name. Call your name, God. When I call your name. Said when we call 
know your name, Jesus. Now somebody shout. Somebody open up and worship. Somebody open up and worship. Somebody give them everything that you got. Right now, get your miracle. Get your breakthrough. It's on the way. It's here. Somebody lift them up. Yeah, 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 God. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, God. We love you, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey. Yes, Lord. Now somebody shout right here and give them glory. You want to open up your mouth and give God the big praise. I'm talking about a praise that's on the inside. I'm talking about a praise where you don't care about nobody around you. Somebody open up your mouth and give God something better than you ever gave them. Lord, we thank you, God. Lord, we magnify you. That's nobody like you. That's nobody like you, God. Nobody like our God. Nobody like our God. Nobody like our God. Nobody like our God. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Somebody Jesus. ought to call his name right now. You ought to lift up the name of Jesus right now. Because at the name of Jesus, y'all don't know this old school church, but at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. At the name of Jesus, demons tremble. At the name of Jesus, warlocks lose power. At the name of Jesus, strongholds are pulled down. At the name of Jesus, somebody ought to just walk in a circle and say in Jesus' name, in Jesus name in Jesus name my daughter is healed in Jesus name my finances are fixed in Jesus name my children will be saved in Jesus name my spouse will act right in Jesus name I'm going to get the promotion in Jesus name I still have joy in Jesus name I didn't lose my peace in Jesus name some Somebody ought to shout! Yeah, I feel Holy Ghost. I feel power moving here. I feel the power and the move of God. I need to find somebody who's going to give God an unadulterated praise. I wish I could find somebody who will give God a nevertheless praise. I'm going through right now, but nevertheless I'll preach. No, everything's not all right, but nevertheless I'll worship. No, everything's not all together. But nevertheless, I'm going to give you praise. I need somebody to open up your mouth. See the sign of a mature believer. A mature believer says, though you slay me, I feel Holy Ghost, yet will I trust you. Can I find somebody on the stream this morning who can have church with us on the first Sunday in May? Who said, I'm not going to let anything steal my praise. I'm not going to allow anything to steal my joy. I need somebody who has a nevertheless praise today to start Start putting your hands together and start getting some commotion in your feet. I dare you to get up right where you are with your little bunny rabbit slippers on and give God a shout in here like it's already done.
too much not to worship him. I've been through too much not to worship him. I need somebody to help me praise God right here. I need you to do me a favor. Come on, dude, let's have some church. I need somebody to get some joy in your spirit. The text lets us know if you don't have joy, you ought to leap for it. I dare somebody to start leaping for joy. Somebody shout.
chơi chơi Come on, Alicia. The church shout, yes. Yes. My soul said, yes. My soul said,
There is a demonic curse that's been over your family for generations. God said, God said, under the power, under the power of this anointing, God said, this demonic curse is about to be broken on your family. I need you to create an altar right where you are. I need you to get real close to this screen right here. Every assignment on the enemy, every assignment of the enemy is about to break over your life. Did you hear what I just said? Chains are breaking right now. There's a generational curse that you've been praying you don't fall into. But it seems as if no, no matter how hard you try, you've been inching closer and closer to living into that curse. But I came as a prophet of God today to prophesy over your life that deliverance starts today. I said deliverance starts today. I feel healing and deliverance in my spirit. This is turning into a healing and a deliverance service. I need somebody on the street right now to open up your mouth and say, I receive it, Lord. Jesus in the name of Jesus demons tremble at your name Jesus demons tremble at your name Jesus when he didn't know which way to go God, you gave him direction oh God when he didn't know how it was gonna work God you made it work you made a way now God we need another way I cancel the assignment of the enemy I said I cancel the assignment of the enemy that's trying to steal, kill, and destroy. Keep his marriage strong. Keep his wisdom high. Keep his press strong. In Jesus' name.
Time is over. God told me to tell you you're too gifted to be only using 50% of your anointing. God said, I need you to walk in the fullness of your anointing, which means you have to get God said your anointing is only operating at 50% capacity. God said when you actualize 100% of your anointing, God said people all over this country are going to be saved. I feel Holy Ghost and I hear God. God said people all across this country are going to fall to their knees in salvation. God told me to tell you, man of God, when you begin to walk in 100% of your anointing, God said demons will tremble and you won't even open your mouth to speak. In the name of Jesus, God said playtime is over. God said stop playing with me. I gave you too much anointing to be half-stepping. God said give me all of you. In the name of Jesus, I feel Holy Ghost here. I hear God. I said I hear you God. God says stop operating at half capacity. I need you at whole capacity. Even when you don't feel like it. Even when you don't feel good. Even when you don't feel worthy. God said oh, walk in it. God said I've got a use for you. That word applies to your life. God said, playtime is over. Y'all want a sermon today? Here's the sermon. Playtime is over. 
When I was a child, I spake like a child. I acted like a child. But when I became a grown man, I put away childish things. God said the word for your life today is, playtime is over. One thing I do know is that Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. That's love. That's love. Jesus went to Calvary. Jesus went. Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. That's love. That's love. One more time, can we say that? Can we just stay there for come on worship with us? Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch. Stay right there. Can we stay right there? Can we just, I need you to lift your hands right now. Playtime is over. It's time to worship. Come on, sing it one more time. Jesus went. Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. That's went to Calvary. Jesus went to Calvary. That's it, dude. Stay right there. Stay right there. To save the rest like you and me. That's love. That's love. That's love. Yes. Yeah. 
We came to worship. I need you to worship with us right now. Holy Ghost, thank you for having your way. Thank you. Hey, yeah, that I must see. Yeah, that I must show you. We bless you. We give you glory. We thank you for dying. Anybody grateful for salvation today? I know I don't have everything that I want. I don't have everything that I desire. But one thing I do know that I have is salvation. <laughs> one thing I'm grateful for that trumps everything else is the fact that I'm saved. That when I roll up out of here one day, I'm going to meet my Savior. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest in glory. Understand, child of God, that salvation is the greatest gift you could have ever received in your life and the word that God wants me to give you on today is that playtime is over God said stop operating at half mass when I gave you the fullness of anointing I supposed to start a new series today I had a whole sermon written and planned to preach but one thing I'm grateful for is divine interruption one thing I've learned in this season of my life is to stop trying to force my will and let God's will be done. That's not how the story ends. Three days late, <laughs> he I hope you have your virtual communion prepared. It's communion Sunday and we're going to the table I ask that you would prepare your your communion elements even at this time prepare those elements get that wine get that cracker get that juice get that bread and I want you to after you prepare it I just want you to stare at it for a second just look at it sometimes we just try to rush through this thing no 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 we're gonna take our time today I want you to just look at those elements real quick. And I want you to remember what Jesus told us. He said, that bread that you're looking at right now is my body. My body so that, I, that I'm sacrificing so that you might live. The record says Jesus could have called 10,000 angels just like that to come to his defense. Bottom line is, if he'd have called them, they would have wrecked shop. But the reason, watch this, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what got Jesus through crucifixion. I'm going to tell you what got him through Calvary. Because while he was hanging there, while he was beaten, while he was spat upon, when they, when they, when they crushed his head with thorns, as the blood came streaming down, when the spear went to, into his side, he just kept a picture of your face. He just closed his eyes and saw you. And when he saw you, he said, I got to keep hanging here. I have to.
to take every I have to take every I have to take all of this because I see who I'm dying because I see who I'm doing this for I see who I'm doing this for you were Jesus why why do you have to go through all of that, Jesus? Why did you stay there when you had all power? Why did you stay there and declare, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? When you could have got yourself down. Well, there was a why. There was a reason why. And you were Jesus why. You're the reason why he stayed there. Let us pray. God, we thank you for this divine interruption. We thank you for inserting this commercial into our regularly scheduled program. God, because you are the greatest power, we shall never be defeated. And so right now, under the power of the Holy Ghost, we first say thank you. Thank you for Calvary. Thank you for Golgotha. Thank you for that old rugged cross. Thank you for seeing my face while you were hanging there thank you God for not coming down from that cross because you know I needed salvation thank you for giving up your life so that I can live so that my children can live my mama could live my daddy so that everybody I'm connected to thank you for sacrificing your life so that we could live your word says that you didn't just come to give us life, but that we ought to have life more abundant. Meaning that I'm not just going to have what I qualify for, but I'm going to have what you said I could have. With man, it is impossible. But with you, God, all things are possible. So we decree and declare on today that playtime is over. God, I'm going to give you everything I've got. Even when I'm depleted of energy. Even when I'm frustrated. Even when I don't always understand why this stuff is going on. Yet will I trust you. Not only am I going to trust you, God, but I'm going to serve you. It's the least I can do out of everything you've done for me. And so Jesus, as we prepare to take these elements, we say thank you again for your sacrifice. We remember Calvary. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Family, let us prepare to commune with the Lord.
on the night in which Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and he, Bible says he break it and he said, take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Today, we remember Jesus, that your body was broken so that we could be blessed. Let us all eat together. ordinary glass of Merlot. <laughs> they said that this wine represents the New Testament in my blood. Jesus said, when I shed my blood, I'm rewriting your history. Jesus' blood was shed, not spilled. If it was spilled, that would be an accident. He shed his blood for many, meaning that it was intentional. Let us drink together. That's not how the story ends. That's not how the story ends. Three days later, you rose again. That's not That's Family, we are so grateful for the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. I don't argue with God no more. I don't fight God no more. I don't fight God on what should be protocol, what should be this. We are orderly church, but our order is susceptible to the power of the move of God. The word for your life today is playtime is over. Did you hear what I just said? God said, I need you to be ten toes down. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to sow into this anointing. I need you to sow into this anointing right now. The power of God has met us in such an incredible way. And you can't leave this kind of experience and not make a deposit. I feel Holy Ghost. I said, you can't leave this kind of experience and not make a deposit. Pastor, why do we sow money? I'm going to tell you why. Because in today's modern time, money is the most valuable commodity that we have in terms of transfer and exchange. Biblically in the Old Testament, when the power of God fell upon his people, the Bible says that those who were in order with God's will made a sacrifice. They took one of the, the best of their livestock and they slayed it and they offered it to God as a sacrifice. Now livestock in the Old Testament biblical time was the, was the equal of money today. What money is today, sheep and calves and donkeys and livestock, that was the economic commodity of that time. And so if Moses and if David and Samuel and, and Solomon knew the power of sowing after a move of God what makes you think it's not going to work for your life it is the same commodity we sow dollars because we don't sow we don't have to kill sheep anymore <laughs> we don't have to kill goats and these kinds of things and lay them on the altar Jesus rewrote that but one thing he kept instituted was sowing and reaping I want you to sow into this anointing right now and I want you to be audacious today. By the power, listen, I, 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 am, I hear God. I know when I hear God. 
So not only am I going to show my tithe and my offering today, but I'm going to make a real sacrifice today. I'm going to make a real sacrifice. I'm going to sow a $100, I'm going to sow a $100 sacrificial offering. I need you to hear me. I need you to hear me under the power of the anointing that is in this place. I'm sowing a $100 sacrificial offering over and above my tithes today because I know something special took place here today. Curses over your life were broken today. Generational curses were destroyed today. Now watch this. Here's how you activate it. You can only activate it through faith. You have to believe that it's already done. And watch this. When I sow into it, that is me telling God, that is me not just telling God, but showing God that I believe. I need you to join me, family, those of you who are able. I want you to say, Pastor, I'm going to take a leap of faith with you. I'm going to sow a $100 sacrificial offering into, this, into the ministry today. $100, I'm going to sacrifice it. I know, I'm going to sacrifice it. Those shoes I wanted to get, I'll get them later. Though that, what? I'm going to sacrifice it today. Because the oil that I desire from God is way more valuable than anything I can get from Kohan, Foot Locker, from uh, Ferragamo. Can I get a witness, somebody? It's more valuable than anything I can buy out of the Gucci store. The anointing of God. Watch this. It's old school talk, but I, I feel Holy Ghost. It's the anointing that destroys the yoke. It's the anointing that destroys the yoke. Sow into your future right now. You have to sow where you want to go. And you have to sow if you're trying to grow. I want you to get that $100 sacrificial seed. I want you to get that tithe and that offering. You might be saying, Pastor, I would do it if I have it, but I don't have it. God honors your spirit. If you have it and you know you have it and you know you're able, I want you to sacrifice it. I want you to sacrifice it today. My tithe, my offering, and I'm going to give a $100 sacrificial offering. Or I'm going to get the closest thing to it. Lift that offering in the air right now. I want to pray over it. I want to pray over that which we're going to sow today. God, thank you for this seed that we have to sow. Thank you for the sacrifice that I'm allowed to make today because you made a way. If, I, if it weren't for you, God, I wouldn't even have, I wouldn't have a dime into my name. So thank you for employment. Thank you for income, even in a season of drought. Now, God, in the name of Jesus, I sow this seed in the good soil called House of Hope Making, believing I shall reap a great harvest. Lord, let this seed bless this, your church. Let it bless this, your community. And let it bless your man of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen come on and sow that seed child of god and before you hit that give button make sure you smile <laughs> because god loves what a cheerful giver we have so many different ways to give all of it is on your screen right now cash app give if i go ahead and sow that seed and i thank god for it and i thank god for you listen we have our offering information up but we're also even at this time we're posting posting everybody who's on our prayer list right now it's 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 on your screen right now Everybody that's on our prayer list, I need you to pray for them. I need you to keep them in prayer on this week. I need you to keep them in prayer on this week. I need you to lift them up before the Lord. Because when you're going through, you want somebody praying for you. I want to just humbly say the power of God hit this house. I'm, I'm kind of just all over the place right now. But let me say this out of the kindness of my heart. I want to thank every single person who helped to celebrate two years of pastoring people on last week. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Every one of you has showed up. Every one of you who participated. Everybody who sold into my life. Everybody who gave a gift. Everybody who just thought about me. Who, who sent me a text message. An Instagram message. Whatever. I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. The last six to eight months has been one of the roughest seasons of my life. But one thing I do know. And two, two things are for sure. That I am grateful that God planted me at the house of hope making. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else in the world. I know God sent me here for such a time as this. And the ministry that is going to come forth from this ministry is literally going to blow the city of Macon's mind. Macon think, listen, the city of Macon thinks that they know about House of Hope Macon now. They have no idea that in the weeks, months, and years to come, they have no idea what's coming. I need somebody to prophesy over this ministry and say a tsunami is coming. I, say, I need you to say it. A tsunami is coming. 
a tsunami of anointing, a tsunami of a power, a tsunami of overflow, a tsunami of favor. I wish somebody would receive this in the Holy Ghost. A tsunami of impact, a tsunami of influence, a tsunami of feeding people, a tsunami of clothing people, a tsunami of doing ministry at a ridiculous level that nobody thought we would be able to do. I thank you for allowing me to be your pastor. I am honored to be your pastor. I thank God every single day for planting me here. I want to thank the Reverend Dr. E. Dewey Smith Jr. for calling me those two and a half years ago and saying, Howard, I need you back in Georgia. There is a work that is designed specifically for you. And I believe that God is calling you. When I touch foot, when I hit the campus for the first time, my pastor told me, go see how your feet feel in that place. It's my pastor, Bishop Glover. He said, I just go up there and see how your feet feel. As soon as I stepped out of the car, the Lord said, you belong here. And I've been 10 toes down ever since. What I want you to know is, Hope Nation, playtime is over. It's ministry and power from this day forward. Thank you for allowing me to serve you. I love you. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. There might be somebody on the stream who said, Pastor Howard, OM to the J. <laughs> how in the world did that happen in that service? Well, I'm going to tell you how it happened. God had his way. There might be somebody who says, I need God in my life. Somebody who says, I need a church family. If that's you, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to text H-O-H-M-N to 474747 right now. It's on your screen. Text that information on your screen. And somebody's going to reach out to you and get you connected to Christ. If you don't want to text it, you can put it right there in the chat. I want to be a part. I want to be a part. And we're going to, somebody's monitoring the chat right now. We will connect you to Christ and get you hooked up with the Holy One. We're going to usher you into a season of victory in this village. If that is you, I want you to do that even right now. In Jesus' name, amen. And here's the word. Here's, what, here's the real shout. We love you already. You're family already. And there's nothing you can do about it. Listen, family, we have to leave this place. And I want to leave this place in the sweet spirit that is here. I want you to adhere to all of the announcements that are made through House of, uh, through Hope, uh, Hope Happenings. And I want you to prepare yourself for an absolutely phenomenal Mother's Day worship experience uh, in just a week or two. I can't remember. Is it third Sunday, y'all, or, or second Sunday? It's second. So next week, amen, next week. <laughs> y'all pray for me. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in the realm. Amen. I'm behind the veil, as Juanita Bynum would say. And so, and so what I need you to do is I need you to prepare for an absolutely electric worship experience with us all next week as we celebrate all of our mothers we love you and we thank god for you i pronounce this benediction over your life may the lord god bless you and keep you may he smile upon you and be gracious unto you may he lift up the light of his countenance and give you his peace and you're going out and in you're coming in in your labor and your leisure and your laughter as well as your tears until that day when we meet the lord god face to face and cry holy 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 to the lord of hosts until then, my brother, my sister, go in peace. Go in love. Go in joy. May the very God of peace, love, and joy go with you now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go in power and go in victory. We love you and God bless you. But that's not how the story ends.